What's up, everybody? Sam Dog Infamous Two Five Three coming at you guys with a quick video to talk about something that I've been that I've seen a little bit. I know it's a little hard now. There hasn't really been a whole lot of activity, and you know, I mean, for pretty much now, I think mostly we're done with the part where where free agency free agents are still looking for teams. I mean, I'm still trying to keep up with most things, but I haven't been really doing a lot of those videos lately. I mean, the last video I did was Jermaine Curse one, but there's something appealing that that came that came up that I saw while looking on the media with some Seahawks-related stuff. And it's about wide receiver Jerron Brown. Looks like he's been bulking up to try to 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 push push to make roster, but he's like he wants to be more than just that. Cause remember when we used him a little bit last year, and he had that first touchdown against the uh, against the Dallas Cowboys, and then. I mean, and then he had a few touchdowns. I mean, he had a little bit of impact, but this is from the Seahawks wire. wire but, and then I was like reading something else. Jerron Brown added muscle and cert. Jerron Brown wants to have a bigger role in the Seahawks offense, so he added some muscle in search of a bigger role. Here's one of the links that, from an outsider's perspective, the Seattle Seahawks roster doesn't appear to have a place for wide receiver Jerron Brown to be a marginal asset like he was in 2018. While he quietly had an effective year in limited touches, he was the Seahawks' fourth wide receiver for the majority of the season despite Baldwin missing three games and a half games and Brandon Marshall being cut by midseason. At times where the Seahawks needed a spark with Baldwin's playmaking absent, Brown couldn't fill the void and mostly stayed quiet. He did catch 14 and 19 targets for 166 yards, including catching five scores, but despite the team raving about his chemistry with Russell Wilson and leadership in the locker room, the six-year veteran couldn't find any find many targets either he wasn't getting open Wilson wasn't seeing him to get open but Baldwin being full-time absent in 2019 Brown has a beautiful opportunity to break out in year two at the Seahawks or if you prefer a more pessimistic take he could be looking to work after training camp with the Seahawks drafting DK Metcalf in second round Gary Jennings and John Ursua seven now this is a link from the from from a link from another from a source about it sorry it's the 24 7 one the seahawks are putting all their veteran receivers on notice of course tyler Lockett will be the unquestioned number one option and leader of the group his contract stats break out 2018 featuring a perfect passer rating on his targets make him a roster lock and that's obviously tyler Lockett. he's been the big home run threat so let's see this so how's this how does he outlast his younger competitors versatility and enough experience to know when to change but what was he doing? I'm going to go to another link, which is the uh, Seahawks Wire. Give me a sec. Returning veteran Jerron Brown, who has looked dynamic for the Seahawks this offseason, season is well aware he will have to fight for a spot come training camp. Now, I know he didn't really have, you know, that good of a year I mean not really a lot of activity but if he's grinding to want a spot I like players that like to grind you know hearing about a player's grind to try to keep a spot is everything now I'm not so sure what will happen with Jerron Brown but um we won't find out till the preseason if anything were to happen I mean either cut or doesn't get a lot of doesn't have a huge role we'll we'll just see what happens I'm just one of those guys to say wait and see what happens but when I saw saw the story pop up I just wanted to Thought I'd maybe come out here and talk about it a little bit because he he wants to be more than just a minim, minimal role. He wants a bigger role, and he's grinding up and he's grinding to try to try to make sure that he can get to being a big role player. But we won't know that till the eye test. But I like players that grind that grind hard that want to be an importance to the team. So so good luck to him and whatever happens happens give me your thoughts in the comments ring the bell sorry i haven't done a video in some odd in a little while but um i just wanted to come out on here and talk about this so I'm so anxious to try to get to training camp i know the training camp tickets should be coming coming on soon the email should be coming soon so i'm definitely going to try to get on that and see if i can get that first saturday i'll try to be going to at least possibly two days both on Saturday, so anyway, um, thank you all for tuning in, and uh, if you like what you see, give it a thumbs up, so, and if you're new, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, let's keep this grind going, I appreciate you guys so who all come and support it so far, and until the next one, if you ain't with it, you ain't infamous, and as always, go Seahawks.